Hello there, it's me Potato Man, and guess what? I'm back with another Mando showcase. It's probably gonna be the third and final one. Maybe, I don't know. But today I'm gonna be showing off some more Mando figures. So, yeah. And of course, today is Friday at the time of recording this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna release it today. Who knows? Who really cares? Let me get my stand. Where is my stand, dude? Oh, here it is. So first off, we're gonna start off with a, just an updated figure, which is uh, Moff Gideon. Now, if you don't remember the short, I did actually say that he has a new face. But today, well now, of course my camera decided to go out of focus. I'm gonna use a spear. Actually, you know what? No. I'm gonna use my toothpick. Where's my toothpick? I am so disorganized. Uh, back here. So, I did kind of get inspiration from the face from uh, L9 because I really had no clue what else to do for the face. Didn't know what to do for the skin tone. I really did not know what to do. So, I just kind of did this and I kind of gave him like a little bit of a disgruntled sort of face. But, I mean, you've already seen this figure and I just kind of wanted to give that little update of him because now he doesn't have the Steve Harvey looking head. Next up, we have one of my favorites. We have the one that I've been working on for quite a while, Bo-Katan. Now, if you don't remember, the original Bo-Katan that I made was for Clone Wars Season 7. If you don't remember that, I think that was actually the second video I uploaded. So here, it's the original one. Obviously, with the inaccurate sort of dark blue. But of course, since this one's actually more based off of the Mandalorian version, like the TV show, of course, they're going to be different in a way. Now, if it ain't obvious... By this point, this is Bo-Katan's helmet by um, Elm 9 obviously, and I do have the torso. I just haven't really done much to it, because I kind of like the Mandalorian version one. But, you know, just clear differences in how long and what I've been doing, like sculpting armor and all that. Because I actually did sculpt this armor and uh, pretty much everything. The head below it is just kind of like a, just this head. I don't really know if it fits the actress, I haven't really taken a look. Then there's the jetpack, which is just a nice little silver one. Of course, she has the little, I think it's a night owl by this point. I don't freaking remember. She has a range finder by Clone Army Customs. Of course, if we turn it on to the side, she has the little symbols again. She has the gauntlets along with, of course, the shoulder pads. She has the pouches in the front and the torso armor that I decided to sculpt on, which for some reason people find, some people find to be sexist, which is... Doesn't make any sense just because she has a boob armor doesn't mean anything. Someone gotta have a cod piece. They just wanna protect that part of their body, man. Dumbasses. Anyways, there's a little bit of dark brown on the side because it's in that, it's like that in the show. But the arm is pretty much the same on this side. I did sculpt on a little, sort of, what do those be called? The calf? Somewhat like little knee pads and calf plate. I don't freaking know. But yeah, and it's like a little bit of a, some of the armor coming coming down and then from the side, which, unlike the original, I did not decide to actually sculpt on the freaking pouches, like the little gun holsters. I just decided to paint them on because it does not restrict arm movement. But yeah, obviously this is a greater improvement from the previous version, obviously, which I love this one. I, I, I like the way it came out. Yeah. Alright, moving on. I hit my camera by accident. And oh, if I'm not doing the guy at the very end, which I shall not spoil, but he's very important and he's very familiar, I shall not spoil who that is. Which, I mean, yeah, I'll just tell you that he's a Jedi, so we'll get that out of the way. Next up, we have a. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't remember these names. A Shadow Trooper? Dark Trooper? I don't remember. But it's the droids. It's those guys. I pretty much, this is pretty much just like a simple figure that I just made. Like I actually just made him because I wanted to. I wanted to make him because I thought it would be cool. So I gave it the red eyes. I gave it a little mouth that it has. And I did sculpt on the sides and all that. With some little flaps and whatever these are. I did take a armor piece. I don't know where it's from. But it, it, I know it was used on uh, Hero Factory. So that's. It was used in Hey Refractory, like the uh, Invasion from Below. And I put like a little red transparent stud, like 
a flat stub, but you can't really see it. And I did kind of leave some of the red poking out, but you can barely see it. I did use the normal XO Force arms, along with a little pincer like hands. But with the XO Force arms on the bottom, I did actually put these little uh, diesel things, whatever they are called. Put those on the bottom. The head below it, it's just. Also, I used the. That's just a random stand in head. For this, I used the Frono Squad helmet, and I just simply, just, I just cut it up, man. Like, there's a little bit of remnants at the back of, like, the top fin thing, but I just decided to leave that there. <sighs> All right, final figure, which, yeah, it's a quick showcase. I, I haven't made, like, the sniper lady, whoever she is. I honestly didn't, I honestly just really didn't feel like making her or something like that. But here, we finally got Boba Fett. And yes, I had to clean up the armor. Because the Mandalorian, you know, the people who were making that decided to paint his armor back. You know, decided to make it all clean. Even though the dent, the dent on his head is still there. That's, ba that's mainly because that's just kind of like a feature that he has. Like, he got that from uh, Cad Bane, I think. Yeah. So I painted over all of the silver markings I painted. I painted over silver markings on the face. And, of course, I fixed the cheeks and all that. And he does have, like, a little bolt kind of right here in the side of his cheek. So I put that there. Painted the sides silver and gave him the range finder, of course, on the side. And this is the Cobb Vanth armor, like the whole removable armor. So Cobb Vanth is just, uh, where is he, actually? <sighs> He's just right here. I still like the way this figure came out. I'm probably just going to give him, like, arms and legs. He does have the Boba Fett jetpack, so I can't really put that on here. But yeah, I mean, I could probably paint the scarf black and then it might work. But I did paint on the pouches, which I just finished this figure. Same thing you've said for, like, Bo-Katan. I just finished them. But yeah, I painted on the little whatever that is. I, I really do like the way this came out. Like, this is really clean, in my opinion. Yeah, I did. I did even try to paint the signets because I honestly kind of forgot he had those. I did sculpt on the back armor, which doesn't look all that good, but eh, still. He has a little skirt piece thing. And if we remove the torso and take off the take off the skirt piece, he has knee pads, just like Bo Katan, which I sculpted those on too. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean that's pretty much it for these figures. It's not really much to talk about. Because, well, like, I do think, I guess I could talk about the episode here, kind of give my opinions and thoughts. But, I mean, that's pretty much it for the figures. Of course, I did give Mando his spear, but honestly, in my opinion, that was a good closing episode for the final season. Well, not really the final season, but I, I doubt this is going to be, I doubt this is the final season. I got a, I got, I got a good feeling that there's going to be more. But, honestly, here. You can click off the video if you really want to, but I'm going to get into spoilers, so yeah. Uh, move my camera down to where you can see me. So in my opinion, I thought the episode was great. Good closing episode. You know, finishing off Grogu. Having him go with, well, spoilers. He went with Luke Skywalker at the end because he came in out of nowhere and just started to kill all the shadow droids or whatever they are. Shadow troopers, black troopers. I don't freaking know what they're called. I forget. Dark Troopers. I don't... I think they're called the Dark Troopers, actually, now that I think about it. But who cares? But apparently... Also, I am going to be making a post. It's going to be the Bo-Katan post on uh, the sub. So if you're wondering why my sick figure is really scared while holding the Dark Saber, it's because Bo-Katan in the episode wanted the Dark Saber. Because then she would own... Like, she wanted to fight Moff Gideon because the way they earned a Dark Saber is to fight the person who has it and that's pretty much how you earn like the throne i guess i don't know something like that so that's kind of reason why my sick figure is all scared so yeah and that's pretty much it i really do like the episode i like the series of course Whew. yeah that's pretty much it goodbye please cut me in half someone cut me in half please thank you <laughs>